And new at six, restraint without pain. The easiest way to think of it is being able to place handcuffs on somebody from a distance. Police officers from a local department learn a different way to control people not following commands or in crisis. That device is called Bola Wrap. News 5's Bob Jones shows us how it works and why the department believes it's an important option. Bola, bola, bola. It sounds like a gunshot, but looks more like a lasso. It is startling. That can wrap around a person's legs or arms. I wouldn't say that it hurts. Uh, It'd be like maybe, you know, you feel like you're getting hit with a fly swatter. Patrick DeOrio, North Canton's Director of Administration, volunteered to be wrapped, which admittedly is startling. It's scary. It really is. Uh, it, it happens in such an instant that you don't realize, other than the loud bang, the next thing you know, you can't move. North Canton has invested about 16 grand in the restraint technology, which Sergeant Cody Dollinger says uses a cord, metal anchors, and barbed hooks. The cord then wraps around the individual, and those hooks dig into the clothing, and it gives us a temporary amount of time to be able to move in safely. City leaders felt it was important to look for de-escalation options other than tasers and guns. Diorio says scrutiny of police use of force nationwide and the killing of George Floyd played a role in buying the bola wraps. We're not going to, you know, be uh, reactive and wait for it. Let's be proactive and try to make sure that this never happens here. Bola, bola, bola. Sergeant Dollinger says wrapping someone provides an alternative between verbal commands not working and inflicting pain with weapons and believes it could be a good solution for those in crisis. People in crisis generally don't mean to hurt themselves or others. They may or may not know what they're doing at the time. Um, this allows us to gain control over them when need be. North Canton has eight of these bolo wrap devices, enough for every officer on any given shift. So far, the devices have not been used in the field. And police would like to keep it that way, hoping the only times they're deploying bolo wraps is for demonstrations. We're happy when we don't have to use any of this stuff. If I can go through my whole shift and just merely talk to people, that's a good day. Unfortunately, that's not the world we live in and the more prepared we can be before we need it, the better off we'll be. In North Canton, Bob Jones, News 5.